Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. What's the worst you've ever been cock blocked forward slash beaver damned? I remember getting invited to a party where I didn't know anyone except the two people I came with. Spent the night vibing with a cute girl, finally invite her up to the roof with me. As we're literally walking out the door, some asshole screams hey where are you going with him, he's totally gonna try and hook up with you, the girl gets all embarrassed and avoids me the rest of the night. I ended up in some dude's room playing rock band with three other guys trying to avoid the main party. Dude tried to ball and got cheesed. I'd had the biggest crush on my roommate's girlfriend all through college. She did a playboy photo shoot. He was so proud that he showed me the pictures. That didn't help. They broke up. Went out with her and some friends for bowling and drinks. Afterward, the two of us ended up in my room. I got her shirt off and could realize in person why she posed for Playboy. I fingered her while she came multiple times. I thought I was good to go and tried to put him in. She slapped my hand and yelled, we're just friends. She stormed out so mad at me. My boyfriend and I were planning to ride our motorcycles a few hours north to a little touristy town, eat at our favorite Mexican restaurant, and spend the weekend in an old-fashioned lakeside motel. I told a friend of mine about this plan the morning before we left. That evening, when boyfriend and I are seated at the restaurant and enjoying our meal, suddenly said friend appears beside our table. She had hitchhiked 250 miles to get there, in spite of the fact that she had not been invited to join us. She also had no money on her, and no way of getting back home. So we reluctantly let her spend the weekend with us. If this were to happen to me now, I would have no problem politely yet assertively telling my friend that she would not be joining us on our weekend getaway. But at the time I was like 22 years old and still had a lot to learn about standing up for myself with people who have no sense of boundaries. Well. What went through her mind to think that any of that was a good idea? I am the main character. She had hitchhiked 250 miles to get there, in spite of the fact that she had not been invited to join us. She also had no money on her, and no way of getting back home. So we reluctantly let her spend the weekend with us. This is unreal. To just insert yourself into an obviously one-on-one -one situation as a third wheel and going out of your way to be as intrusive and needy as possible. Well. Hey guys. Glad I could make it. Can I bum a dinner, a place to sleep, and a ride home with you? Ha ha don't try to fuck while I'm here, I'm a light sleeper. That bitch would be hitchhiking her ass back home. You got here on your own, you can get back home on your own. Plus they were riding motorcycles so it's unlikely they had a spare helmet or other gear for her. Hitchhiking home would probably be safer. There was a local musician I had a thing for. Went to see him play one night with a good friend. On his way out, he forgot something, so I grabbed it and ran into the parking structure to take it to him. We started talking and somehow, I ended up sitting on the back bumper of his truck, caged in by his hands on the tail. Not in a creepy way, in a very intense forward slash attraction way. He's talking about a party at his house for a friend's birthday and how he asterisk should asterisk be leaving, as he's leaning toward and our mouths are right here fucking close and my friend comes out of the club, screeches my name and yells, you better not be hooking up with, name, in the parking structure, you bitch. And laughs. Asterisk Q record screech asterisk mood broken. Never got another chance with him again. He ended up marrying and divorcing some girl he met on a world tour and then moved out of state to find himself. I assume you didn't get a second chance because you were in jail for murdering your friend. That bitch. That should have been you that got married and divorced to him. I had really hit it off with this lady in a bar in Hawaii in my late 2020s. We were talking all night and enjoying drinks. One thing led to another and we ended up making out. Then some lady taps me on the shoulder and very indignantly yells Stephen. How dare you cheat on your wife like this while she's sick in the hotel. I'm disgusted with you. And storms off. My name isn't Stephen nor was I married or even dating anyone at the time. I'm guessing she didn't believe you. And was wise enough to know the ID in your wallet was likely a fake as well. Somewhere else in the hotel, poor Stephen is trying to explain to his sick wife he didn't try to cheat on her. Five dollars says she was dared to do it. Removed. I mean fair enough you missed the hookup but seven years. 
Why not ask her Ui a couple days later? A week later? Or when he got out of the shower? My father very purposefully cock-blocked my best friend in high school, I'll call him CJ. Growing up my dad was very proper, focused on manners, wouldn't tolerate swearing, etc. As I got older and into high school he started to loosen up and became more of a pal. This really accelerated as he got to know my friends. It's senior year, the after-grad party, and my dad is an absolute BRO and offers to DD for us all night no matter how late. We ended up calling at about 2am. My dad, the BRO that he is, hauled his ass an hour into the countryside to pick up CJ and I, both absolutely hammered. When he arrived, I can't find CJ anywhere. After asking around I hear two girls took him to a bedroom. I text him, no response. After confirming he could stay the night with the host, I get into my dad's car. I tell my dad where CJ is. There's no way I'm letting CJ have a threesome before I do, is his response as my 60-year-old, married, father steps out of the car, walks through the party, and presents himself to the bedroom to explain to two girls and one very frustrated CJ that he had promised CJ's mom to get him home safely and won't be leaving without him. Once in the car, CJ, who has never said even a slightly off-kilter remark to my parents, sighs and lets out, Dad's name, you fucking cock block. My dad didn't bat an eye and bought us fries on the way home. Edit, harm my first platinum and I owe it to my dad. I'll be buying him a beer. Maybe CJ too. Thanks. Edit 2, a little late for this one, but wanted to respond to a few comments saying my dad ruined an experience for CJ or was being a dick. I can see how that comes across. But if you knew my dad, his relationship with CJ, and how he truly was just trying to get us home safely, you'd probably see it the way we do. CJ and him were laughing and joking about it on the ride home, and have continued to the past few years as it's become a favorite story. It was the kind of relationship my dad had with my friends, and at the end of the day, we had asked him to pick us up in the middle of the night, made him wait half an hour, and he wasn't going to wait longer for CJ to get busy past 3am. There were no hard feelings. There's no way I'm letting CJ have a threesome before I do, is his response as my 60-year-old, married, father steps out of the car. I laughed so fucking hard at this line. He had me tied up in his bedroom for some kinky fun. His toddler daughter who we had put to bed an hour earlier and made sure she was sound asleep came bursting through the door screaming poo because she was potty training and would yell that when she had to go. Now I'm tied up and gagged. He's in the bathroom getting ready. She is pooping her diaper and thinking we're playing some game. We did not have sex that night. Imagine being hobtied and having a toddler doing that pop face where they stare through your soul. Yeah that would end things for me damn near permanently. What a nice bonding experience. Back in high school a girl asked me out and I mindlessly replied that I have no time since I have a world of Warcraft raid in the afternoon. Fifteen years later, I still think about this. She was the prettiest girl in class and I actually liked her, why did I crush her like that I don't know. Pro gamer move. Games before dames. Sigma male grid set. My husband and I, before we got married, were taking advantage of the 20 minutes I had before I had to leave for work when someone knocked on our door. We didn't answer. Then we hear someone using a key to enter our home. It was my husband's old roommate, who I already fucking despised, using his old key long after he'd moved out to welcome himself into our home to look for something he might have left in storage. I'm still mad. I hope you at least promptly confiscated the key and forward slash or changed the lock. I was a huge bitch about it and he scurried off. It never happened again. In high school, 16 years old, I invited a couple of girls over to my best friend's place for some good drinks, Jajameister and beer, and loud music, death metal, since his parents were out of town. One girl was someone I'd known for years and the other was her friend whom I had never met. So they get there and we start drinking and talking and doing that whole thing. Well, later on me and the girl I'd known for years start making out. We head to my homie's bedroom because I have no shame and we start taking clothes off. My best friend was sitting in his living room still chatting up the friend. About the time I whip out the hog her friend practically kicks in the door, screams you are not fucking him. Grabs her, drags her out of the room, and they leave in her car. It happened in like 15 seconds. I swear the FBI could take lessons from that girl. I'm still sitting on the bed like WTF just happened. 
I look at my friend and ask him practically that same thing. He tells me that he went to his car to grab his condoms for me, what a B.R.O., right. When he came in with the box of condoms her friend looked at them, got pissy, and that's when she got up and everything went down. Years later he got back in touch with that friend via social media. He asked her about that night. Turns out the friend was gay and still in the closet. She had a major crush on the girl I was hooking up with, and was just being possessive. So, yeah. Cock blocked by a closeted lesbian in my best friend's bed. Not how I planned on my night ending. That's a double whammy cock block clam jam combo. You know, I never thought about what that car ride out was like for her. I wonder if she was also sitting there like WTF just happened. While her friend drives with the skill and speed that only years of repressed sexuality and jealous fury can provide.